You only do farming because you're crazy. And you love it. Literally everything about a farm is difficult. It seems like sometimes like everything is against you. Maybe you run out of water, maybe the weeds are just taking over the field. And sometimes it's just hot and it's really hard to work in that kind of environment. Because we don't use chemical pesticides and herbicides, that means everything is done by hand. We harvest by hand, we wash by hand, we pack by hand. And that takes a lot of work. At Brave Child Farms, our mission is to grow using ecologically responsible methods, but it goes really beyond that. It is about growing food that excites people, that is meaningful to people, and that's why we really focus on the Asian vegetables. Are we ever uh, a consideration for a program? No. So my mother was an instructor at a university. My father had an MBA. So we don't really have a farming background, but there was some desire, some need to grow vegetables. For my mother, when she came to Canada, she tried to grow a lot of these uh, Japanese uh, vegetables. That was really important to my mother, being able to try to feed us vegetables and dishes that were important to her culturally. Uh, to pass on some of that family tradition and family values. One of the difficulties of farming is we will start the farming season in February and that means planting seeds starting in the nursery. But we don't get paid till almost June. So for that four month period, as the farmer, we have to take on a lot of risk and obviously just not being paid for that time. CSA program, also known as a community shared or community supported agricultural program, it's a mechanism where a farmer sells a share of the season to the community. And in exchange, we give them the bounty from the farm. But if we have a hard year, they understand they are sharing in that risk. It is a true partnership to make it work. Good. There you go. Thank you so much. Today we have the last bits of the spring season and waiting for our favorite summer crops to pop by, like eggplants, tomatoes. I'm pretty excited for that. The CSA started about seven years ago and currently we are working for the past three years with Brave Child Farms in growing Asian greens. What we wanted to achieve was allow people to marry their interest in accessing local Asian vegetables with their interest in reaccessing and reaffirming some of their uh, cultural practices. For a lot of diasporic folks, food is the uh, one daily gateway to accessing culture and also reminding people of home, reminding people of family, friends. My grandma and grandpa were farmers as well, and I think it's been kind of taught through the generations that we should move to, you know, more white collar jobs. So I think there has been that push uh, from many of our parents to not go into farming. I was really surprised when I told my mom that I wanted to go into farming because she was so supportive. She said that she wanted uh, me to be happy and she could see why that would make me happy. Because ever since I was a kid, I always loved growing things. I think the saddest thing for me is that she never got to see this farm. She wanted to come to the farm and she wanted to help out at the farm. Um, but she never got a chance to because she passed away. Whenever I took the vegetables to her, she 
would call me weeks after saying how delicious the eggplant was or how long the cucumbers lasted and all the things she'd do with it. Getting into farming is easy. Starting a farm is, I think, easy. What's really hard is to continue to farm. I started the farm as almost a hobby, but it grew into something more meaningful. And what's amazing is that it's not just meaningful to me, it's meaningful to so many people because it resonates with something in them, whether it's because they have children and they want to share that vegetable with them, or maybe they're homesick and something about that vegetable gives them the comfort that they're looking for. It's definitely grown into something much, much bigger than I ever dreamed possible.